You know when you watch a good horror movie and it makes you jump out of your seat? It's a shock, sure, but she get over it pretty quickly. Well, when one British woman walked into her elusive elderly neighbor's apartment, she saw something that horrified her so much she didn't think she'd ever get over it. Are you sitting comfortably? Well, you won't be comfortable for long, as you're about to find out exactly what shocked the woman so much, as well as visit some other truly horrifying homes along the way. A fresh start. Neighbors can be the best and the worst. My first neighbor gave me apples from her backyard. My second threw apples at me. But Lucy Ashen from Fulham, England knew literally nothing about the mysterious elderly woman who lived opposite her, despite them both living on the same estate for over 20 years. The woman had never allowed anyone to enter her home, though nobody other than Lucy had ever really tried. She didn't seem to have any relatives or friends, and she was almost never seen outside her flat. Even when Lucy tried to talk to her, the old lady was begrudging and kept her distance. But then one day back in 2016, the elderly woman got locked out of her flat. Luckily, Lucy was around and helped her get back inside, despite hardly knowing her. When Lucy stepped inside the woman's apartment, though, she was shocked. There was human feces everywhere, and the stench was horrific. Every single surface was caked in dirt and grime. The squalor was almost indescribable. Not that grime was the only issue. The furniture was torn to shreds and her bed had completely sunk in on itself. The old woman must have been sleeping on the mucky floor instead. Jeez. A lesser person might have left right there and then, but not Lucy. Without stopping to think, she got to work completely gutting the house. And I mean gutting. She chucked everything, even down to the toilet seat. However, it wasn't just the flat that needed cleaning. The old lady had mobility issues, and because of this, hadn't washed in a whopping 13 years. So, incredibly, Lucy took it upon herself to give the woman her first bath in over a decade. Then, she set to work cleaning the flat as best she could. Aware she'd need help, Lucy posted on Facebook explaining the situation and included a list of the things she needed. She was stunned at the response. In just 24 hours, friends and strangers alike had sent her almost everything she had asked for, and some even offered to come and help clean too. Working tirelessly with a few incredible volunteers, Lucy began one of the biggest transformations I've ever seen. As well as cleaning everything from top to bottom, the crew replaced the lady's broken furniture, fixed her television, and stocked her cupboards and fridge chock full of food. They even replaced the old, worn clothes in her wardrobe with ones donated by the community. Eventually, after 60 painstaking hours, it was done. And wow, did they do a good job. The flat was completely unrecognizable. Most importantly of all, though, the elderly lady finally opened up. It turns out she suffered from mental health issues as well as dementia and had no friends or family to help her. But thanks to Lucy and her team's kindness, her days of isolation were over. Over the next two years, Lucy continued to see her and developed a great relationship with the woman that had once been so closed off. Sadly, the elderly lady passed away in 2018, but her life had been made infinitely better beforehand. Oh man, I'm not crying, you are. Now, I can't clean your house for you, but I can give you loads of new, amazing content each week. Just head down and hit those like and subscribe buttons so you never miss out on any of my latest videos. You done? Great. Now, where were we? Diaper Deluge What's your dream job? Actor? Musician? Crime scene cleaner? Wait, what? Well, for the crazy cleaners working for Florida-based company Crime Scene Cleaning, it's the latter, somehow. As well as the truly horrendous job of cleaning up actual crime scenes, they're often called in to tackle hoarders' houses, which can be pretty damn grim. But nothing could have prepared the team for a house they were tasked with cleaning at the start of 2021. Other than, well, wearing full-blown hazmat suits, I suppose. Yep, that's a mountain of used diapers and sanitary pads heaped from floor up to almost the ceiling. Ugh. 
and despite the mass of incontinence aids, there were still piles of mess everywhere. Oh, boy. As it turns out, the plumbing had broken, and this was the owner's solution. I'm pretty sure all those sanitary pads alone would have cost twice the price of a plumber. But I'll reserve judgment. Hoarding is a mental illness, and often it just can't be explained logically. Even so, there's no denying how revolting this place looks. Luckily, the woman who lived here decided to move out and get a fresh start, and good for her. If I was this estate agent, though, I'd probably hold off from showing that video to any potential buyers. TikTok Trash Everybody's been there. A guest is supposed to be staying around, but you forgot, or just didn't have time to clean the place properly. Well, it's safe to say one TikToker going by the rather uh, interesting name Fat Anime Fanboy never has that problem. Not because he's always tidy, no, because his bedroom is so horrendously messy that nobody would want to come round in the first place. Or at least it used to be. Back in January 2022, Fanboy set out on a mission to tidy his bedroom one handful at a time. Uh, what? Yeah, that's weird. Instead of tackling the job head on, the guy's been picking up a single handful a day and documenting it on his TikTok feed. For weeks, he didn't even make a dent in the mass of food wrappers, empty bottles, and pizza boxes. But fast forward to day 180 and… wow, is, is that the floor? At this rate, he might even have the place tidy by the time he's 40. It's ironic, really. I bet he's lost so many things because of that messy room. But uh, I can think of one thing it'll guarantee he'll never lose. House of the Unknown Hoarder If the prospect of cleaning your home brings you out in a cold sweat, just imagine the nightmares whoever captured these pics had. The snaps were posted online back in 2018, though I'm clueless to who actually lives there. And yeah, I'm pretty sure someone does live here, or at least used to. Look at the armchair, the television, and well, I, I think that's supposed to be some kind of bed. Seems like a really cozy setup, right? Well, if you're not convinced that anyone could live in this awful abode though, check out the note left on the fridge. It's a recipe of some kind, but uh, the only things the owner actually seemed to eat are oranges. What the heck are they doing under the washroom sink? Clearly, whoever owns or owned this place has a serious aversion to basic hygiene. But if you look closely, you can actually see a mop hidden amongst the massive clutter. Ah, uh, the irony. Joking aside, I really do hope whoever lives here got some help. Do any of you guys know anything about this mysterious hoarder? Well, then again, maybe I shouldn't pry too much. In this case, at least, curiosity definitely killed the, uh, rat. Bud Bonanza At the end of a long, hard week, there's nothing more satisfying than cracking open a cold one. But one man from Hanover, Pennsylvania took this sentiment to the extreme. After being evicted for failing to pay rent, the ex-tenant abandoned the property and left it in a state that can only be described as utter chaos. Have you ever seen so many beer cans and boxes? I mean, this guy seriously loved Bud Light. The cans reached so high that the ex-tenant had apparently even made stepping stones out of pizza boxes to try and navigate the mess. Uh, because that's how you solve the problem. Genius. According to their neighbor, the man had lived there for 17 years before being evicted. Which I guess goes a little way to explaining the sheer quantity of trash. In fact, no. No, it doesn't. The worst thing about all this is the guy filming was actually the new landlord, who'd had the terrible idea of buying the property without viewing it first. I don't think he'll be doing that again, do you? I doubt he'll ever be buying Bud Light again either. Although, why would anyone? Dirt and Demolition Alright, so we've seen some pretty filthy houses so far. But back in 2017, YouTube handyman Stanley Genedek decided to explore one so filthy it was condemned by the government and scheduled for demolition. Yeah, that's as crazy as it sounds. Just getting inside was tough, as the door could hardly open. When he managed to get in, though, he immediately realized why. There was trash everywhere. 
Piles of it reached four feet high in places. In the back was a huge cluster of used diapers, and even worse, there was human waste on the ceiling. Ugh. How? I don't even want to know. It's, it's pretty obvious why the homeowner wasn't using the bathroom, though. I mean, look at it. There's no way I'd have sat down on all that detritus, especially if I was only wearing shorts. While everything about this is gross as hell, you've got to pity the original homeowners. Their hoarding problem got so bad, they used to genuinely live amongst it all. But I pity whoever cleared it out as well. Because of recycling policies, you can't get a trash alongside rubble, so someone had to do it. Jeez, what a job. I'll stick to amazing people, thanks. Garbage Grotto What's your dream home? Well, it's an easy one for me. A luxury condo in sunny Malibu, obviously. But Jan Bush from Wales, UK, envisioned something a little different. Oh yes, Jan decided her dream home was a literal World War II bunker. With no electricity, hot water, or sewage, it's definitely a, let's say, bold choice. Nature-loving Jan thought it would be the perfect way of living a quiet country life. However, her bunker turned out to be anything other than serene. As the years went by, Jan developed a severe hoarding problem, and it got so bad that piles of trash and dirt threatened to completely engulf her. So, to quite literally help her out of this mess, an elite team of extreme cleaners paid her a visit. And even they seemed horrified at the soot-blackened walls, stained bedding, and piles of rotten junk. But after hours of cleaning, they managed to transform the bunker into a space that looks almost livable. Yay! Thankfully, Jan decided to sell it to a new owner and seek a fresh start. Hopefully, she's found somewhere a bit less hovely and a lot more homely. Rat Attack Everybody needs a helping hand sometimes, especially as we get older. But unfortunately, not everyone has friends or relatives to be there for them. Sadly, one elderly man from Ashfield, UK, was in this position for a long time, before the local council came round to inspect his property in late 2021. When they did, they found something nightmarish. The house had a huge infestation of rats. The man was ill and unfit to look after himself or his property. So, slowly but surely, trash and clutter had taken over, until it had become utterly unmanageable. And attracted to the rubbish lying everywhere, the rats had moved in. Can you believe this is a living room? It looks more like a garage full of old junk, right? And just look at that kitchen. There's no electricity or running water. It's a miracle he survived for so long at all. Unfortunately, after being found, the elderly homeowner was moved to a local care facility, and today he's finally being given the care he deserves. Plus, he even managed to sell his home at auction. Once all that junk had been thoroughly cleared, of course. But that's far from the only time rats have run riot in a hoarder's home. One unique hoarder from Napa County, Florida, didn't attract rats to their home because of their hoarding habit, though. The rats were their hoarding habit. Yeah, you heard that right. Back in 2018, animal control was called to a house and found an absolute horror show waiting for them. The owner had been keeping thousands of rats. They would bred out of control. Many had become feral and some had even turned to cannibalism. Uh, nope, nope, and nope. Luckily, some people intervened and managed to save over 500 of the ones that weren't, you know, rabid cannibals. And today, they've all been adopted into better homes. Man, I just can't believe people actually hoard rats. I run a mile if I spot one on the subway. Queen of Clean If you're anything like me, you're a sucker for a satisfying cleaning video. Finnish super cleaner Ori Katarina isn't, though. She needs the real thing. So, she goes out and deep cleans people's houses for free. I know, crazy, right? Well, get ready to see one of the worst houses she's ever cleaned. When she went in, she was told the bathroom hadn't been touched in a whole five years. 
and boy can you tell, it's like a pigsty. As for the bedroom, well, you couldn't even distinguish the bed. In fact, I'm not so sure the homeowner slept at all. I mean, even the floor wasn't fit for sleeping. It was covered in globs of dirty, worn-out clothes that had been there so long they were completely stuck to the tiles. Ugh. What was going on then? Who owned this place? Well, sadly, it belonged to a young woman in Switzerland who'd fallen into depression. As the depression went from bad to worse, she lost the motivation to clean until it got completely out of control. For five years, she kept it a secret, even hiding it from close family members. But sometime in 2021, she finally gained the courage to ask for help, and Ori flew out to provide it. The job she did was amazing, and the whole thing would have cost a whopping $15,000 if Ari hadn't been there. Sheesh. I guess not all heroes wear capes. Some wear rubber gloves. House of Horrors It's easy to forget just how lucky we really are, but sometimes a bit of perspective is all we need to realize what we take for granted. In late 2021, police were called to a house in the Wirral, UK, after neighbors heard a loud argument coming from inside. When the cops got there, they found a lot more than they bargained for. Upon entering and searching the house, they realized the family had six children, and the family of eight was living in some of the most squalid conditions I've ever seen. Filth, feces, and dead rodents were everywhere, and litter was piled high in every room. I mean, it even filled the bathroom sink and the bathtub, and the kitchen wasn't any better. Trash swamped the floor and mouse droppings covered every surface. Shocked at the horrific scenes, the officers immediately called for help and evacuated the children from the premises. Thankfully, they're now in safe hands. As for the parents, they were arrested on child neglect charges. It's one thing pushing that lifestyle onto yourself, but to push it onto your kids as well? The only thing trashier than the house were the parents that lived inside it. Creature Discomforts Most hoarders fuel their addiction by hoarding household objects and junk. However, as we've seen with the rat house in Florida, some hoarders end up with an absolute ton of animals too. But if you thought the rats were bad, you've seen nothing yet. At the start of 2022, police were called out to a Californian home after reports of a possible animal hoarding situation. On entering, well, I'm gonna have to illustrate it, it was that bad. The house was overflowing with over 100 dogs and cats, along with all the pee and poop they left in their wake. Jeez, think about the smell. The myriad of pets belonged to an elderly woman that lived there with them, but it soon became apparent that not all the animals had lived to see an old age. Indeed, the cleanup crew found suspiciously cat-like skulls throughout the property. Those poor kitties. Luckily, however, most of the pets were rescued and rehoused. Across the ocean in Melbourne, Australia, a social worker found something much worse than a cat skull in a similar hoarder's house. The worker was checking in when she walked into the living room and saw the full skeleton of a dog rotted into the carpet. Ugh. Who knows how long it had been there for? I think we can safely assume neither homeowner was allowed pets ever again. Pigsty Power Couple now, Forget Harry and Meghan. I'm about to introduce you to a power couple that means serious business. Leanne and Kenny Elliott are a husband and wife pro-cleaning team based in Plymouth, UK. And because they specialize in crime scenes, they've seen a lot of horrible stuff. However, one particular house they visited back in 2019 made headlines for how horrendous it was. I'm talking about the filthiest house in Britain kind of headlines. So, Kenny and Leanne walked through the door and were greeted with this. I mean, I can't even see any house for all that junk. And the worst part? Those cider bottles weren't filled with cider. Any guesses what they were filled with? That's right, pee. In total, there were 250 bottles of the stale stuff. That's almost 165 gallons of pee. Ugh. And the actual toilet was no better. For someone so content to pee into a small opening of a bottle, 
they seemed to have a really bad aim when it came to pooping. Ugh. And let's not forget about the drawer filled with old, used cigarette butts. Okay, I I've seen enough. The more I learn about these hovels, the less I understand why you'd ever become a professional crime scene cleaner. Skelly Sun Ever been scared that your nightmares will one day come true? Well, then buckle up, because what I'm about to tell you is just like a real-life horror movie. Rita Wolfenshin is an elderly woman based in Brooklyn, New York. One day, back in 2016, she fell ill and was admitted to the hospital. So her sister-in-law, Josette, kindly traveled to her house to grab some belongings for her. But after entering the property and looking around, her eyes fell upon something so horrifying it's no doubt ingrained in her memory to this day. If you hadn't guessed, Rita was a hoarder. But Rita was also blind, so she couldn't actually see any of the mess in her house. Therefore, when Gisette waded through the debris-choked apartment to collect Rita's belongings, she found something that Rita herself was totally unaware of. Upstairs, in one of the bedrooms, lying on a thin mattress, was a completely intact human skeleton. It even had clothes on. Overcome with shock, Josette ran out of the home and notified the police of her findings. It turns out, it was Rita's own son. But when the blind woman was questioned about it, she was confused and genuinely thought he was still alive. Crazy as it sounds, the room was so full of garbage that the smell of the body could have easily been mistaken for rotten food. Lovely. How the man passed away, though, remains a mystery. Rita claims to know nothing about it. Hmm, I've heard of having a few skeletons in your closet, but having one in your bed is a whole new level. Floor of Feces I don't know about you, but I've always been more of a cat person than a dog person. Having said that, I'd only ever own one or two at a time. However, one 62-year-old woman from Ontario obviously thought very, very differently. Back in April 2018, local police were called to the woman's house, and as soon as they opened the door, they understood why. It was like looking into a hellhole. Deep layers of poop covered the entire floor, sending up an awful stench. But that wasn't all. The officer's ears were also hit by a wailing cacophony of cat's meows. As they trudged inside, everything became clear. The bedroom was absolutely bursting with cats. And whilst they weren't in the rest of the house, they left their detritus everywhere. That creepy rocking chair makes the room look cursed enough without all the turds. But it only got worse. Going further into the disgusting home, the officers found a dog, too, in a tiny cage unfit for housing anything. And believe it or not, he was the lucky one. Other animals were also found, and they hadn't made it. It turns out the owner had thought she was helping all these animals by giving them somewhere to stay, but the reality was far from it. The woman was charged with animal cruelty, and the pets were taken to the vet for medical attention. So, not such a happy ending for the homeowner. For the surviving pets, though, catastrophe averted. Ashy Abode I can't imagine how difficult it would be to have your home hit by a hurricane. The place wrecked, rubbish lying everywhere. In fact, it'd probably look a little bit like this. Only these pictures were taken before a hurricane, not after. Seriously, this apartment in Houston, Texas looks like a hurricane could have actually helped it out. I mean, whoever lived here definitely isn't familiar with the concept of an ashtray. Instead, they've opted to just throw their cigarette butts in any space available. And I mean any space. Oh, that poor computer. Though by the looks of it, it's lucky to have made it past 2002. Over in the bedroom, there aren't any cigarettes, but, well, there's hardly any bed either. At least this hoarder had a healthy diet, though, eh? Donuts, pizza, coke, and cigarettes. All the athletes' go-tos. Unsurprisingly, the evidence in the bathroom says otherwise. I can't tell for sure what's on that floor, but I don't think it's chocolate fondue. Man, I don't even want to know what's sitting in the sink. Ironically, there are actually a ton of cleaning products in the kitchen. 
So either they just gave up on cleaning, or this is actually what it looks like after a good scrub. And I, I can't decide which is worse. Right, I'm off. I've seen enough grime to last me a lifetime. Which of those dirty dwellings made your stomach turn the most? And do you know anyone whose place could feature on this video? Let me know down in the comments below, and thanks for watching.